are ready for the D major fugue, which is probably the worst fugue ever written. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of, a, it's a big stretch to call this a fugue. Um, the last time we heard the fugue subject is here. You'll notice I didn't even bother the color, like colorizing the subject because the subject is not particularly important. What, this is the last time we heard the subject. This entire last part of the piece doesn't have any real subjects in it. Well, does not mean it's a bad piece? No, I think it's a fantastic piece. In fact, I think that's what I love about this, this music is that Bach is interested in writing the best fugue he can write. He's interested in writing a piece that takes the material that bursts onto the scene and, and makes it the most extraordinary experience he can make for the listener. Um, and what's extraordinary about this is the subject itself. Um, sort of the uh, model for melodic ideas, at least going back to the Renaissance, is that things start kind of slow and they pick up energy as they progress. Obviously, this is not that. This is a fig subject that starts out with an explosion. <laughs> of 
second notes it has really nothing to do with the shape at the beginning. Let's compare these two moments. This is on page one. And on page two. I think the reference between pitches that are just somewhat changed makes the drama, makes the glory of these moments uh, much more intense than just the material in itself. There's something about that um, real pitch definition that, that gives us a little extra something. And finally, the fugue ends with um, this 30 second note material on top of itself, sequenced.